Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So you guys might remember this and this was actually originally used in a hand crank blender that we used to make smoothies and this worked incredibly well and I think that's due to the fact how it can get some serious RPMs out of that without actually putting in a whole bunch of energy. So considering that my last video which was number 15 1520, there we go, number 1520 where we used the exercise machine to actually generate, that did incredibly well and I was actually able to generate quite a bit of wattage. So what I'm actually planning on doing is doing a very similar thing with this, but instead of using an exercise machine where you're using all your muscles, I want to see if I can condense this down into a hand crank version, because if we can get somewhere in the region of about 100 watts net total, I think that would be particularly awesome. So there's one thing that we have to do first, and that is, well, this belt is a little bit too short, so I'm going to have to try and figure something out to sort of overcome that, but I think that I've got the solution already in the bag. So let's actually start thinking about how we're going to mount this. So there's one thing that I actually forgot to mention, and that is these pieces right here that are holding up this whole hand crank system, um, I actually had to make these a little bit longer. So in the original video, they're about this big, but I sort of doubled the size just to make sure that this alternator is actually going to fit underneath. Okay, so how we're actually going to mount this alternator is going to be relatively straightforward. So I'm going to do the exact same thing as I did with the CrossFit machine, which is right here. So what I've basically done is there is two L brackets, with bolts holding either side of the motor, either side of the alternator, which means it creates this sort of swivel hinge. And then right here, I've got an L bracket on this piece right here, and a bolt that sticks through the wood. That means I can put my belt on, pull it this way, which is going to tension that belt, and then I can actually put this L bracket over this bolt, and then just tighten that down with a nut. That way, it really does tension that belt, and it's not going to slip off. So now that we know how we're actually going to mount this alternator, let's get it put on here. Oh my goodness, I absolutely can't believe how much of a pain in the neck this has been. As you can see, it's been altered a little bit, so I haven't got this side of the frame on anymore, and there's one thing that you're going to notice that's slightly different, and that is I've had to opt for gears and chains because for some reason, no matter what I did, when I wanted to put a belt on this pulley to this pulley, it would just snap every single time. And I think that's just because of the torque requirement of it. But we rectified it and now we can actually give this a test. Okay, so before we actually crack on and start giving this a test to see what it can output, there's a few things that I want to talk about about this alternator. And I know that I touched base on this just a little bit on the exercise machine uh, generator video. But I want to talk about it a little bit again. So the first thing is that you have to put an input voltage and amperage into this to excite them coils, otherwise you're not going to generate anything. And there's one thing that we want to be looking out for. We want to figure out how many watts we've put in, and then we want to look at how many watts are coming out. And then that way we can figure out our net generation and our overall generation, I think is the term, but the amount that we're going to generate over the input. Okay, so it's finally ready to give it a go, and I have to admit, I actually got set back by a few hours because this chain and these sprockets did not want to line up for me, and uh, it just kept slipping and slipping, but now we've rectified that, it's actually time to give it a test. So as you can see on the PIP, we've got this set at 3 volts at 0.68 amps, which is around 2 watts, so we need to aim to generate more than 2 watts. So let's see what kind of results we're going to get. There we go, 3.4, 3.5. So it looks like that we're going to get a peak generation out of this at around 2.8 volts. That's not bad. Let's see what it does in the way of amps. Right to you, so let's see how many amps we can produce. Wow! Okay, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. So it looks like we're going to generate anywhere between 0 0.7 to 0 0.8 of an amp. So what's that in terms of watts? 
Rightio, so that wasn't bad at all. I mean, we could have pumped a little bit more ampage and voltage into this alternator to get a much bigger net generation. But I didn't want to exceed them torque requirements, and for me to turn it, it was actually really easy. So there was around 1.5 watts going into this alternator, and we got around 3.35 watts out of it, which I don't think is too bad. So that was around 1.8 of uh, 1.8 watts of net generation on top of that. I think that's actually pretty good. Okay, so by no means is this better than my CrossFit generator that I made a couple days ago. But you've got to bear in mind that with the CrossFit, you you're using all of your muscles, so that's a lot of power going into spinning that alternator. While this, well, you've just got a hand crank, and of course, the extra modifications. I've definitely either reduced or increased the uh, gear ratio, but I'm not 100% sure. But it would have worked really well and I kind of wish I turned up that voltage just a little bit more so we got a bigger generation out of it. So I think these alternators are becoming a little bit of a new fascination for me because, well, they perform really well and you don't really need to check a whole bunch of voltage down them to excite that coil. I mean, you can do it with a battery if you fancy. So I'll probably be taking a little bit more, a burp, but a little bit more of an in-depth look at these. And if you guys would like a video actually explaining how these work, just let me know in the comments and I can do that. But with that being said, that does bring me to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments. And I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway, guys, I hope you have the most fantastic day. And I'll see you later.